Hello everybody, welcome back to World of Warcraft Warlords of Junor. My name is Necroxus and today we are continuing with another garrison campaign. This is one of the weeks where we got two this week. Um, I just completed the terrible, perhaps probably the worst garrison campaign mission that we did a couple days ago with the goblins, whose entire storyline seems to be, hey, we're goblins, let's go steal and loot a bunch of shit because fuck you, why do you care about the story? But uh, now we got a new quest from Rokan. Let's see what he has to say. Ooh, come get the voodoo. Garrison campaign deep recon. Your time will be good, Commander. I sent one of my shadow hunters deep into the land of the enemy. He reports that the warlords be planning to meet in secret at the Mokgol watch post. This be our chance to learn what Hellscream be up to. Go now. Meet with Zasta. He will tell you what to do next. Find shadow hunter Zasta in the hidden camp in the Grand. Be careful. Man. Now, I believe this is the warlords council one, which I heard, I heard, was pretty good. So let's hope that it actually is. Um, I think what's it? I think this is the closest one. Farewell. So yeah. So yeah, I don't I don't have much to talk about this time on our flight. We usually have like in flight discussions, but I don't uh, I don't have much to talk about. I've been playing some. How's your, okay? I guess we could say how was your holidays going, guys? Uh, mine's been eh, not the best. Um, you know, Christmas was fine. Christmas Eve was insane because um, we hosted it at our house this year. So my sister and I. We uh, cooked for uh, almost 24 hours uh, with, like, we cooked, like, 12 hours and then went to bed and then got up and cooked, like, another six uh, <laughs> before the party on, on the 24th. We cooked, like, 12 hours on uh, the 23rd, I swear to God. Um, so, yeah, it was kind of, I, I don't know, my birthday was the 30th. That was kind of meh. Like I said on Twitter the other day, um, birthdays past 21 seem to be less important as they go along. So nothing really happened. I wasn't feeling really well. So, meh. But uh, yeah, let me know how your guys' holiday has been in the comments below. I probably should have went to Rilzit's Holdfast instead. We can fly right there though. So, no biggie. Lockrath, the place of the best uh, storytelling in the Grand, where both factions have a different story at the same place at the same time. I don't know how that's supposed to happen, but you know, don't think about it. <laughs> the expansion, Warlords of Genora, the expansion where you don't, you're not supposed to think about the story. I just realized this guy is, uh, he's a, uh, not a Yongle, what do they call him? Whatever. Not Torn, but the other guys. Be careful. You never see them anymore. You saw them in a little bit in Cataclysm, with the assumption that they brought some back from Northrend. But, uh, I haven't seen him in a while. I didn't even notice that guy was one. What are they called? They're not Yongle. Yongle are related to Torn, but they're not what I'm trying to think of. Oh well. The guy's in Northrend. That's where you meet them and induct them into the Horde. I, I feel like the Horde should utilize them more often. I mean, they're pretty... They're... I believe they're supposed to be stronger than the, the Torn are, like, physically, so... Eh. Whatever. Okay, so here we go. I think my latency just shot up a little bit because I lagged there for a second. Okay, where are we going? Um, in this cave? No. Up here. Uh. Oh, up there. Okay. Let's go. Oh, they're dead. Judging by the marks on his body, the Shadow Hunter put up an impressive fight. Okay. The Warlord's Council. Upon closer inspection, you notice a piece of leather parchment looped around his neck. Scrawled upon the angry, scrawled, scrawled upon it are angrily. Oh my God, I can't read. Scrawled upon it. Oh my fucking God. Witness the fate of those who defy the Iron Horde. Find out who's behind the note. Well, well, <gasps> well. Azuka Blade Fury. Look who's walked right into our trap. You will be my gift to War Chief Hellscream. Ooh, oh, shit, we got captured. We got captured. We're fucked. Uh, I'm glad to see more Azuka. I'm gonna get rid of my Doom Guard because he's being what annoying. What of you, Black Hand? Alliance and Horde forces strike at the Foundry, but they are nothing I cannot handle. Again, Black Hand? All I hear are excuses. Azuka, how goes the search for the Alpha? Well, War Chief. We need only the heart of Gorgorek to give it life. Good. I will have you deal with the other Welders as well. Or 
You lack the bloodlust of your forefathers. My blade skills surpass those of my sire's war chief. I can clean up Black Hand's I mess. Can't see. <sighs> I will slice off your tongue for that! <laughs> Bold words from my newest warlord. Very well. Carry forth your ancestral blade. Bathe it in the blood of our enemies. Show me its legendary power. Come, you have your orders. I ride for Tanan. Hmm. Interesting. Kargath is alive still, so this takes place before either raid. Because Black Hand is also still alive. They're looking for the heart of Gorgorek. What is that? The the heart of Gorgorek. Alright, what how are you? Shadow Hunter Kasaja Kajasa. Kajasa got you, man. I'd be here to help. Cool. Thank you. Hey there. I've been looking for you, Commander. I knew I knew you was coming, but that nasty orc lady got to you before I could give you a warning. At least I could save you. Poor Zasta. He never saw it coming. I managed to recover Zasta's notes. He saw the, the Warsong leaders meeting often in the nearby buildings. Zasta thinks there would be clues about the Ironhorn plans nearby. The least we can do is follow the lead that he left us. Search the camp for the intelligence. I'll keep the orcs distracted. Find the scale model of Gorgorek, the miniature war machine, and the map of Tanan Jungle. From the oh, and two others. Uh, kill the pack leader, okay. And uh, intelligence be the name of the game, Commander. The more we know about Hellscream's plan, the easier it'll be to mess them. The mock gold orcs be Hellscream's couriers, carrying his mission orders from this place to his outposts all over Junor. Kill the riders and recover any orders that you can find. Be seeing ya. Okay. I'll make sure to stay away from the voodoo. Um, let's see. So it looks like they're... He said, how goes the search for the alpha? For the... Ooh, for the alpha what? What could that possibly mean? Um, let's see. We could... We could theory craft. The alpha. Hmm. It could be like an alpha Magnaron. It could be an alpha uh, Ogron. Hey, here's the thing. Scraps of paper surround the map of Blackrock Foundry that look like manufacturing orders for war machines. Okay. Could be like a Magnaron. Could be a, an Ogron. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what else it could be. I know that there's a thing in uh, Gorgrond. Like a weird... Oh, so guys, someone's fighting this guy while I'm talking. There's like a... Um, oh, if I can look at my map. I can't remember exactly where it is. It's like right around here-ish. Gorgorek! Yeah, Gorgorex Fall. See, yeah, there's, it's like right around here. It's right south. If you want to, if you want to go see it, fly to Sky City Point, and like go right here. And there's like a Magnaron like in the ground, like petrified or something. And it looked like an important thing because it's freaking huge. So I was wondering if it's if it could be, um, you know, could be the thing they're trying to revive. I'd actually thought that for a while that we'd address that thing because it's not dead. It just looked like it's frozen in time. So, I don't know. That could be what they're trying to get, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, so this is the Tanan Jungle map. The map bears many markings within Tanan Jungle, including drawings of fortifications and troop movements. Hellscream seems quite interested in that region. Okie dokie. Um, I need the miniature scale model of Gorgorek. Which, where is that from? Um, way on the other side. Oh, there it is. Cool. Awesome. As you can see, my Abrogator Stone quest is going poorly. I'm only halfway done at 65. I know some people who are already totally completed it. Basically, it's just RNG, and it really pisses me off that um, I'm so far behind. I have gotten uh, two clusters of Abrogator Stones my entire time trying to do it, and that's been since day one when High Mall opened up. And uh, other people I know get them all the time. Get them from pretty much every single boss. And, uh, I just don't. <laughs> and it's sad. I'm sad not just because it's taken me forever, but because there's some cool stuff going on there, I believe. I haven't spoiled it for myself yet, but I believe there's some cool stuff going on there. So here we go, Gorgorak. I'm going to show you guys this when we're done with this. Um, right now, a nearby piece of paper. We have uncovered Gorgorak, the world render, an ancient Magnaron. This is definitely the thing they're looking for. An ancient Magnaron frozen in the stone pools of Gorgoron, the Warsong Elders once believed this Magnaron was a once-powerful alpha. With the ability to command lesser beings of its own kind, ancient 
clan records suggest the beast can be awakened. Yep, they are definitely trying to awaken that. And isn't there a, um... There's a garrison quest that I think has to deal with that. We're doing Warlord's Council now. It's Strike at the Heart, Heart of the Breakers, Primal Fury. I'm going to guess that these last three are connected. Um, I'm not sure how... I, it's probably going to go Heart of the Breakers, Strike at the Heart, Primal Fury. Just give me guessing on how it's going to go. Um, I mean, at the very least, if there's like, like, if there's like a coherent finale to this, I'll be happy. Because thus far, it's been kind of just disjointed with a couple interesting ones here and there. Um, which, with a whole bunch of ones that are just boring. But, you know, whatever. Um, I'm going to kill a bunch of these guys and complete this to get the necessary things we need to turn in. So, I will see you in a little bit. Alright, so here we are. Um, on the map I'll show you guys. We are right here. And, uh, you might have noticed this before, questing through Gorgon, but, uh... Here we go. It's pretty cool. I remember seeing this being like, What the fuck is happening? <laughs> And here's Gorgorak, way in there. So we can go underwater and get a look at him. If so I can zoom in. So there he is, definitely an ancient looking Magnaron. Looks freaking huge. And this seems to be the thing they're going to try to resurrect. Probably they will, or will stop them right before they do. But there are a bunch of petrified, like, Gronlings and shit around here, too. Interesting. So, I just wanted to show you guys that because I knew... I was like, Gorgorak... That's from Gorgon, right? So, pretty cool. I like that little tie-in. So, these are, uh, my missions are done. I'll read them. The only thing I got was these mission orders. This one is for Spires of Iraq. It says, The Arakoa are a powerful ally and a dangerous foe. Through persuasion or force, it matters not which, we must subdue and subvert their magic. I'm guessing, um... See, I was talking with Howie, and he was kind of confused as to the timeline. And now I am, too, because... You don't get this garrison campaign to level 100, and I would assume, the storyline assumes, that by 100 you have completed all the zones. So, I don't know, because we get to Spires of Rack and you already see them fighting. You see the Shattered Hand fight against the Arakoa, so I don't know. And then we get Frostfire. <clears throat> Research and engineering uh, fronts must be doubled in the Iron Siege Works in Frostfire Ridge. Do so with any means necessary. With superior technology, the Iron Horde can crush any foe. Pretty self-explanatory. Shadow Moon. The Iron Horde must gain greater air superiority if we are to conquer our enemies. A large population of population of wild Rylax live in Shadow Moon Valley. Force these creatures to submit to our will. I want to see the, an, air, an air fleet of thousands darken the skies on Azeroth. Interesting. That is an interesting one. I'm still curious as to if Grom knows we're from a different timeline. Um... Or, I guess, not universe. Uh, yeah, universe. I guess for a form of a different universe. Meaning that there was a Grom that existed in our universe. I really want to... Blizzard seems damn, like, set on not making that a story thread. But, I don't know. Let me see what you guys think. It seems more interesting that they do, they do explore that. That they could. Have Thrall confront Grom and be like, Look, yo, bro. Even though I hate Thrall. I mean, it would be a logical scene for him to do it. Like, look, yo, bro. This is all the good things that you did for us. I mean, Thrall would say good things. I would be one to argue that he did a bunch of terrible things and did one good thing at the end. And that good thing that cost him his life kind of whitewashed all the other terrible things he did. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, I don't know. I feel like that should be addressed. And the fact that they're not... I guess the best way to explain it is the fact that they're not addressing that, to me, is a bigger plot hole than if they would. If that makes sense. I don't know. I think they should. So... Um, these are all complete. We have to go back to our garrison, so I assume it's the end of it, but we're going to do that and see if anything interesting is said. So, uh, yeah, back to the garrison. And I have my Hearthstone, so there's no cutting necessary. Save Necro a little bit of work because he's lazy and doesn't like to edit videos if he doesn't have to. So here we go. Alrighty. I also completed the, the Pexus Daily, of course. Let's talk to Rokan. What you want? Uh, I know about this Vorgash. It'd be a relief to know that he won't be trouble us no Stay more. Away from that now we have a proof of Hellstream's intentions. Maybe now we can... This, this damn troll speak. Maybe now we can stay a step ahead of the Iron Horde. Good work. Be seen. And finally... This is good. This is real good. Spirits. Be with your man. 
I heard of Warlord Blade Fury. She is a master of the blade, undefeated across the orc clans. Those who underestimate her die. She'd be ambitious, clever, and cruel. Now that she has risen to Warlord, we better watch our backs. If she and this Iron Horde be searching for this heart of Gorgorek, then we must find it first. I will send for you when I hear more. So I'm really curious if these last four missions are purposefully the last four. Because it seems like they are at this point. We're going to do with the one we just did. And then, uh, I, I still think Heart of the Breakers is going to be first. Because we'll have to, I think this is going to be looking for the heart. And then they're gonna, we're going to end up failing, is my prediction. And they're going to get it. And then we're going to have to do this one, Strike at the Heart, where we destroy it maybe. Or, Gorgorek is resurrected, which then leads to Primal Fury, which is the final one when we fight Gorgorek. I think actually that's how it's going to go. So, thanks for watching guys. Let me know how your garrison campaigns have gone this week. Let me know if you ended up doing this one. I think everyone did, because Howie had a... Howie, his first one ended up being different than the one I did. He didn't do the um, the Broken Precipice one. He actually had done that one a while ago. This week he had gotten uh, Sokrathar, and then he got this one. So I'm curious if everyone got this one as well as their other random one. So let me know in the comments below, and stay tuned for the, I guess, the build-up to the conclusion of the Garrison campaign. I'm kind of intrigued now, so. Um, do I have, I do, I have unread mail from one of the quest givers, so let's read that first. Maps and plans. Commander, I've gone over the information you retrieved from the Warsong Outpost. It looks like even with all the forces you've gathered, we're going to have to do a lot of work before we can stop Azuka and Gromash. I'll be planning up how we can dismantle the Iron Horde for you in the coming weeks. Cool. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you next week for the next part of the Garrison Campaign, where the story is picking up. So thanks for watching, and farewell.